Today we're going to show you how to replace the PERC-4 RAID controller on the PowerEdge 2800 server. If you buy this from us, this is how it will come. We'll open up our server. Now you may be saying, well where is that? Okay, it's right here. The way to remove it is this blue bar. Now usually they're a bit stiff. So smooth force. If they're really stiff, sometimes you can give them a small tappy. Get that straight out of there. Now if you come around, the cable from the rate right control to your back plane needs to come off. And then we can remove it. The cash module needs to come off the old riser. Set that safely to the side. Now the battery also needs to come off. There's going to be a pinch tab here. We're going to pinch it. And lift. Fish this wire back through here. All right. Now here's the fun part. There's a little blue pull tab. We're going to pull that up. Side. Now we have another one here. It's on a it's on a slide. Now this black shroud is going to have to come off with it. There's pinch tabs on the bottom. Kind of stubborn. It's going to kind of work them both as you go. Once they're about all the way in, this prize, kind of got to come back and pinch up some more. It's the hardest part of the job, I promise. Sometimes pliers can be used too. Now putting that piece on is a lot easier than taking it off. We're going to line up the holes here for the PCI sockets. You see that those are in there good. We clamp on the back first, push straight down. That was easy. Line up on the card itself. There's a lot of these groove chamferings here. We're going to line all those up on the cage. So now, if you kind of hold the back, slide it in. Close that back up. Feed our wire back through for the battery. Cash module. This will push straight down. Come to this side of the server. See this grooving here? It's going to line up with this groove here. Now I get about this far, and that cable from the back plane I like to hook up right about here while I hold it. Now we got channel A and channel A. Make sure we get those back. Sometimes you might have a channel B, just make sure you get the right one on the right one. Push that down in there. Push your lever down. Give it a nice, firm, snug push. Put your lid back on. You should be back in business.